In today's video, we're going to be looking at a programmable robot and how you can use it in your classroom. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now today we'll be looking at the Kubo programmable robot. Now the main reason I want to show you this product is because I love programmable robots. Now if you've been a subscriber for a while then you will have seen me discuss some different robots and also how to create resources for using those robots in the classroom. Now today I wanted to look at Kubo. Now Kubo is a very small little robot and as you can see the size it fits right in my palm is perfect for younger children we're talking primary and early years now what I really like about Kubo is that it works in a slightly different way from other programmable robots now some robots you've got to press buttons others you've got to code on a tablet or an iPad now the way you code Kubo is by using these tag tiles now these tag tiles are just like puzzle pieces and if you have young children then you will know how much they love puzzles and putting things together now these tag tiles all contain a little RFID chip. Now what that means is that as Kubo, the actual robot, moves across these chips, it is reading the information and that way it knows what to do next. Now as you can see I've got my tag tiles laid out here, I've got a forward forward turn right, forward, turn right, and I've put them in that direction because that's also the way our robot is going to be moving. Now, as soon as I connect the head to the body, and you will see, snaps together with a magnet, my Kubo robot will wake up. It is now ready to read these tiles, and when I put it on top of that first tile, you'll see it starts moving, and every single tile that it reads the information from that RFID chip, it is going to move to the next one. It executes this in the correct directions, and this is how you might use it on a map or on a mat on the floor when you're asking your students to really grasp the basics of navigating from one place to another. Now, let's say that your students are a bit more advanced than this and they're ready to move on. Well, Kubo also contains these special tag tiles. Now, these also contain an RFID chip and that means that you can now start creating functions. Now, the way that works is that you would no longer have to put them in that strange shape, but you can put them in order. So, I'm now going to open a function, going to place those same tiles forward, forward, turn right, forward, turn right, and I'm going to close my function. Now, as you can see, Kubo is going to recognize that this is a function, it's going to memorize it, and then every time it sees one of these blue play tiles, it is going to execute that function. This is brilliant when you have a large mat or when you have instructions that you want Kubo to execute, but you do not want your students to physically move the tiles in that path. What you can do then is you can have them really think about their algorithm, think about their function, they program their function, and then Kubo reads it, records it, and executes it. So I'm going to show you an example of this right now. So I'm going to take my robot, I'm going to place it on that first tag tile. It's going to scan every single tag, it's now scanning the turn right, move forward, turn right, end of the function. And again, there's a little color around that head of Kubo that indicates that it's reading a function instead of just executing it. Now, as soon as I place him on top of my play tile, it's going to execute that motion. So let's move the function out of the way and let's execute it. So it's going to execute it, it's going green, forward, forward, turn right, forward, turn right, and there we go. So as you can see, Kubo, it's a great way of introducing programming to very young children. Now, when I say young children, I mean anywhere under the age of 12, and even older children will enjoy this. I've tried it out with both my children, I've tried it out with my two-year-old and my six-year-old, and they both really enjoyed it. Now, obviously, they each work at their own level, and my two-year-old was able to predict what would happen if we placed two move forwards pieces together and obviously the six-year-old was using a range of different functions but using a programmable robot in the classroom allows you to make coding and programming tangible it allows you to make it real so now let's have a look at another set available by Kubo and that's the coding plus now this is definitely a more advanced set and inside here you'll find some different kinds of blocks now in here you'll find a time block you'll find weight statements, and all these tiles again contain an RFID Kubo is using to then read that code. Now, Kubo is available on their website, kubo.education, and 
because it is a physical product, you're going to have to make a small investment. But what I would highly recommend is that you look at all the different programmable robots available and that you make the best choice for your classroom. Now have a look on their website because what you will see on their website is a range of different activities, part of a curriculum. And that curriculum is available for free on their website. So you can go ahead and have a look if this would be the right fit for you. And if you do decide that this is the right fit, head over to kubo.education to grab one of these robots for yourself. Now I'm a huge fan of free programs and free software but having physical robots in the classroom that your students can touch and feel I can assure you it makes a huge difference. Now having been trained in early childhood development myself I can assure you that these robots are very attractive to our young little learners. Now the build quality of the Kubo has proven strong enough to survive a group of six-year-olds so that says a lot if you ask me. Now the packaging is is definitely strong it is easy to store them and as you can see you can place them upright next to each other on a shelf just like your books in the classroom the only downside to that and this is something that you do need to be aware of is when you do store them upright the tiles tend to slip and fall out of their compartments that's something to keep in mind when you are storing your Kubo robots so in my classroom I've stored them like this on top of each other however if you don't mind having them fall out of their compartments then you can store them next to each other just like so so here we have our body pack with four kubos we have a coding and coding plus pack in our body pack of four kubo robots which i would highly recommend if you're going to get them for the classroom do get a set because on average 20 children in a classroom they all want to have a go it's great to have more than one kubo robot it comes with four robots in the box and what I found a really great addition is it has a charger as well that allows you to charge all Kubo robots at the same time. It's a five port USB charger and all your Kubo robots also have a USB cable and it comes with a micro USB there. Now I am doing an entire series on programmable robots and I'm going to give you an overview of all these different robots so you can make an informed choice as to which one to get for your classroom. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, scroll down and leave me a comment about what you think are the major benefits of the Kubo robot. Have you used any programmable robots in your classroom? Which ones have you been exposed to and which ones are your favorites? Let me know in that comment section below then come back up and hit subscribe. Now, now the reason I want you to subscribe is so that you would be notified of our future videos because I'm doing an entire series on different programmable robots on this channel. So in the next couple of weeks you will be seeing another video about a different programmable robot. This week's has been Kubo and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.